Hello, this is Susie. Um, I got a couple of cards here that I want to uh, do, and I've been figuring out how I want to lay it out, and we're going to play a little bit with some uh, stencil paint. This is Heritage Handcrafts three-dimensional stencil paint. Um, and this is a bronzy, coppery color. And we're going to be doing a Father's Day card today. And uh, so, let's see, our measurements for your papers is going to be your main base card is uh, 5 by 7 um, Your next layer is uh, 4 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths. You can read that on there. And then the top layer is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And I went ahead and um, distressed the edges and used um, vintage photo distress ink around the sides of the paper, the edges of the paper. And then I found this cool tag in my stash, and this is by EK Success. And I thought that that just went really nicely with this card. Okay, so, oh, and then your liner is going to be, let's see, the same as the under layer, and it's four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm going to set these all to the side so that we can play with some paint. And I've had these paints for a long time now, and I've never played with them yet, so I figured it was about time I do. <laughs> and also I have behind me a pan of uh, soapy water to put my stencil in as soon as I get done with it. Um, you'll want to do that uh, as soon as you get done using your stencil, otherwise um, your stencil, stencil will get ruined from the paint drying on there, which you can do quite, really fast, really. Okay, so let me move some of my stuff I got all over the place moved off to the side and I'm going to grab another piece of the um, black paper to go under it. I have my table covered with wax paper and a silicone mat underneath so I don't get any of this stuff all over my my desk and then when I'm done here I'll just toss this piece away and be ready for the next one okay so let me grab a uh, a dauber real quick and we'll get to playing with the paint Oh, and also I have, um, I have an old, um, gift card that I'm going to use to put it on there. So, let me make sure I got the right one here. And I actually had to add some water to these earlier to rejuvenate them a bit because they were starting to dry out on me. And so I was like, no, <laughs> I hadn't even used them yet. Okay, so making sure you can see what I'm doing here. 
So I'm just going to, and I have never played with this kind of stuff before, so we'll see how it, um, how it turns out. Okay, so I'm going to put that, like, on the corner. And I think it would work better if I put it on the card and then just pulled it across the, the piece. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> and I'm going to grab this here and wipe that up so I don't end up smearing it all over everything. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. Let's do another spot. That looks pretty cool so far. And I'm actually going to use a different corner each time too so I'm not contaminating my my area. Let me get another daub of this. So that seemed to work pretty good. Okay. I forget sometimes that I'm left-handed. Because <laughs> I wasn't born left-handed. But I can't do a lot of things right-handed anymore. So I got to kind of go with the flow here and figure out which way I need to do this. Okay. Oh, I don't want to move that. A little messy, but not bad. Okay, let me get this cleaned up because I don't want to smear it everywhere. And if it gets on the back side, it's not a huge big deal because nobody's going to see it anyway. But still, try not to get it everywhere. Oops, I almost forgot I need to. Or I want to get that kind of put in the corner a little bit. Oh, cool, that one turned out really good. Well, let's just see anyways. Yay! <laughs> okay, let me get that moved a bit and wipe up the biggest chunk of the mess here. Oh boy, I'm getting stuff everywhere. Okay, last one and then we need to get this stencil dunked in some soapy water. And it's kind of a grungy style of card anyway, so I mean, if it's not perfect, okay, can 
pick up that a bit all over, but okay, I'm gonna drop that in the soapy water and get this moved away from that. Yeah, I did kind of make a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. And I will get the rest of this wiped off of here, put back in the jar. That way we don't waste any of it. that away with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this card off to the side to dry while we work on another card. Okay. Perfect. That's nice, that wipes right up. Okay. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And this is more of a coppery color than a, a bronze. It says bronze on the container, but to me it looks more, more coppery. Okay, now I'm going to set this off to the side to dry. Right. I don't know how long it takes for that. I don't know how long it takes for this to dry. Let's see. Um okay, about 30 to 45 minutes. All right. So, let me get another piece of paper. That seemed to work pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And the next one that we're going to be working on move this off to the side. I don't want to get any paint on that. Okay, is this one here? And our measurements are five by four of the card base. And what I did was I scored a half an inch down on, so you cut two pieces five by four. Um, hang on just one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, all right. And so what you want to do is cut two pieces of paper, uh, five by four, and then at the top of one, one of the pieces, score at half an inch. And that way what that'll do is it'll make a, and when you fold it, don't fold it all the way, don't fold it all the way over, just uh, fold it a little bit up, and then your card will sit like that. So, okay, and then our next layer is uh, five, um, oh geez, I did not write that one down, sorry. Okay, so this one is five by uh, three and seven eighths on this layer, and then this one is five by three and a half. Okie doke. And this piece that I'm using here is um, uh, multimedia paper for either watercolor or markers. And I'm going to, and this is the stencil that I'm going to be using. And uh, this is a brass stencil. And I'm actually going to see if I can't tape this one down. Because I don't want it to moving. Let's 
Okay, and this is just uh, painter's tape. to cover up any of the stencil marks well, the best I can anyway better if you don't split it in half that way you can use the flat edge of the tape to line it up try to use a few of the different colors. Well, that got on there kind of okay. Okay. Alright, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, so let's see what colors I think we're going to do hmm I think I decided I was going to try to do these two colors is it those two? no, excuse me, sorry I think this one yeah, that one okay, so I'm going to see if I can't get certain areas different colors. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so what color for the feather? I think we should do a blue feather. All right. And we'll grab me some sticks. And these are just popsicle sticks. And I wish I had a little, oh, you know what? I think I do. Hang on just a second. Let me see if I can't find something real quick. Sometimes I think I, oops, I don't know why I brought that with me. I didn't want that one. Okay, let me get this little goodie out of here. This probably would have made it a little easier to do the last one too, but you know. Okay, so these are little different sized squeegees pretty much. Okay, so, all right, so I think I'm going to use this guy right here. Okay, let me get some of this blue on here. All right, let me move this over here. Okay, here we go.
the stencil is actually quite thick really when you're spreading all this out on here and like I said this is my first time ever doing something like this so bear with me and keep our fingers crossed that it turns out the way I want it to I'm actually quite surprised how much paint it takes in this stencil because it is quite thick really when you're laying paint on so it does take a little more than you think you're going to use. And it just keeps kind of scooping it off because it keeps sliding up the top and putting it back where I need it. hope that it doesn't smear underneath that would really stink okay so let's get this off of there actually I'm just gonna leave that there in case I don't know what color I'm gonna all right let me grab me a paper towel Wipe this little goodie off so I can keep using it. Okay, so then I guess let's. I don't know what color to do the best wishes. And hopefully this looks as good on the pattern paper as I thought it would. <laughs> well, sometimes you just got to get in there and play with it to figure it out. Or you won't ever figure it out. Okay, so let's... At least I figured out that I do need quite a bit more of this paint than I thought I would. Sorry, I'm not meaning to be so quiet. I'm just trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. Shoot, I don't want to get the pink on the blue. No. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't seep through all of the bits and pieces on here. That would kind of stink. Okay, 
Okay, I can see where I missed a few places. But I wanted to get that extra paint on the edges used up before. I think I should have done it like this instead of down it. Because I think up here where I did this, I think the paint's going to get underneath it there. I don't know for sure, but I have a sneaky suspicion that it will. Yeah, this is the way I should have done it. Well, that's how you learn, though, by your mistakes. Just don't let your mistakes discourage you not to try it again, because that's how you learn. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, maybe I should do part blue and part let's just play with the paint on the on the lettering there and see what we get so if I drag this across okay and then add a little bit of blue to that I can see my W is a little, there's one little spot, there we go. Okay. Well, let's see how big a mess I made. <laughs> well, if nothing else, this can be a, this is what not to do <laughs> video. I think also to uh, had I have put the tape all the way around the edges of it completely. Oh, see, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So I'm going to use my finger and wipe that right there, hopefully. Definitely think I should have put the tape all the way around the edges and not just partly on there. Okay, but let's just see what we got here. See if I can get that off of there without it messing anything up. Toss that in the soapy water. Now, there's a little spot right there, and I'm gonna kind of play, tend like it got it, and I'm just gonna dab the paint right there where I can see it came off at. There. Well, that, not bad, considering, yay. Okay, well, I am going to move this. And I got some of the paint on the edge here. Boy, I don't know if I want to mess too much with it, though. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, where do I put it? <laughs> well, not too bad for my first time playing loops. 
I almost put the blue lid on the pink. <laughs> that would not be good. And I think after that dries, I'm going to play a little bit with the Distress Ink. Okay, well, I'm going to pause this, get this cleaned up, and I'll be back when everything's dry and we can put things together. Okay, I'm back. I decided while this was still wet, I was going to put a little bit of glitter on the to stick to the paint. I thought that would be kind of... Because I thought it was a little bright, the colors, and I wanted to kind of tame them down a little bit. So, I think that will be really pretty. We'll see. Okay. And then after this is all dry, you can take a brush and brush away the, gl the glitter on the paper where it doesn't go. But I think that's going to look pretty cool, actually. That's going to be super sparkly. Alrighty, so now I'll pause this and let this dry. Hello, this is Susie back again. I believe that we have success. Let's see, this one is dry. Let me check the other one. Oh, the other one is still just a tiny bit soft. I'm going to leave that one there to finish. This one, however, is dry and I wanted to take a little bit of this and kind of mute the brightness of of these. See what I could come up with. And I believe I should probably grab a dauber. Use this one here. 